Plot. The. Episode 1. Pokemon. Gen 1. A mafioso gets in over his head and genetically engineers the world's most perfect Pokemon. He then spends the rest of his life looking for ways to recapture this Pokemon that he himself cannot contain. It is bested by a 10 year old. Gen 2. Gold and Silver. That same mafioso group takes over another country in order to impress their boss and try and get them to return. It is once again bested by a 10 year old. Pokemon Crystal. While said mafioso group is trying to take over another country to impress their boss in order to bring him back, encounters with Suicune lead the main character to learn the ancient lore of Johto and learn about the great Pokemon Ho-Oh. Lugia is shafted. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The exact same plot as Crystal with the plot hole smoothed out and Lugia continues to be shafted. In fact, if Lugia was not the main Pokemon of Power of One, none of you would know who the fuck Lugia is. Gen 3. Depending on which game you pick, one terrorist organization is trying to make more land or make more water, is not bested by a 10 year old, but understands the folly of their ways once the elemental titan they summon rampages out of their control. Pokemon Emerald. The exact same plot as Ruby and Sapphire, but Rayquaza puts a stop it to Groudon and Kyogre's fight, and there is the battle frontier. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. The exact same plot as Ruby and Sapphire, but no battle frontier, and one side wants to expand water for the benefit of Pokemon, and the other side wants to expand land for the benefit of people. Also, Every Pokemon game takes place in its own timeline. Gen 4. Pokemon. Diamond and Pearl. You and your buddy get an internship with a, a professor, and while that's going on, you, um, you have random encounters with a doomsday cult who wish to capture God in order to remake the universe in their own image. Pokemon Platinum. The exact same game as Diamond and Pearl, but not dog shit. Gen 5. Pokemon Black and White. Should Pokemon be used for battles? Pokemon, Black 2 and White 2. I don't know, but people will say yes to achieve dark goals. Pokemon, Gen 6, X and Y. You move to a new country and you go backpacking around Europe. A doomsday cult keeps getting in your way while you just want to hang out with your bros. Gen 7, Pokemon, Sun and Moon. A rich white lady manipulates natives into giving her absolute power so she can get high off Cthulhu Venom. Her daughter is a well-written character. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. HP Lovecraft's Hawaiian Adventure. The main villain manipulates natives in order to paint herself as the greatest hero and savior of the world. Her daughter is not a well-written character in this one. Gen 8. Pokemon Sword and Shield. All the side characters play the game for you while you dick about and complete gym challenges. Pokemon Sword and Shield post game. All of the relevant research and information that the side characters collected for you while you were being completely irrelevant to the plot of this game now comes to a head as the royalty of the Galar region decides to rewrite history back into their favor and you, the now Galar champion, have to actually be effective in the plot and stop them from forcefully gigantamaxing Pokemon and smearing some redheaded bitches research. Pokemon Sword and Shield, Isle of Armor. Through an absolute mistake, you are trained by the guy who trained the former Galar champion. You know, the guy who played the game for you while you dicked about and did gym trials. This is an actually exceptional part of the game, full of characters worth enjoying. Though, there's, it, it just it just kind of stops. It's only about like five hours of gameplay and then it's just, then, then the game just sort of stops and becomes boring again.